love it when you beat up on a black woman. Like they really love it when you tell single black women that they're going to die alone. I said, that is the most horrific shit that you can ever say to anybody. Because I know women that are going to die alone. It's not because they're bad people. It's because there is a statistical imbalance between the number of marriage eligible black men and marriage eligible black women. So a lot of, you know, a lot of women do to no fault of their own. They're doing their best. You know, they, the options just aren't what they used to be. So anybody running around saying that you should never submit to your partner has never really seen what it really takes to have a 30, 40, 50 year marriage. They've never seen it. So the best thing they can do if you're signing up for this, it's like signing up to run a marathon. If you sign up to run a marathon and all you've ever done has been a sprinter, you need to go get some marathon training from some marathon. Woo! My, 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 my. Oh, my, my, my. Wow. Okay, so... There's a lot that he said in there. Let's see if we can hear a little bit more of this. Single black women that they're going to die alone. I said, that is the most horrific shit that you could ever say to anybody. Because I know women that are going to die alone. It's not because they're... Yeah, so he's saying that they're going to die alone. Why? It's between the number of marriage eligible black men. Why should women die alone? Because the number of marriage eligible black men is... Girl, you better do what you need to do for yourself and find love where love finds you. Don't be up here wanting a partner and cutting you. They ain't waiting for you. They not waiting for your ASS. As a matter of fact, maybe they do want you as a springboard in the community to use your resources and youth and your body to pump themselves up, to help them get a car, to help them get good credit so that they can go out there and be able to get the woman that they truly want. They not waiting for you. Why are you waiting for them? Why are you going to die alone? Apparently, he hasn't even gotten the memo. Single child free is the movement now. Dying alone is not a sad, terrible thing. Because number one, women outlive men anyway, right? But women who are in marriages don't live as long as women who stay single, statistically. So we're going to have long lives, especially, and voice don't look like he, he work out a few times a week. He don't look like he's getting his 150 minutes in. So you all can say I'm fat shaming if you want to. I'm just speaking what it is that I am seeing. I don't know what the man do or don't do. Because you all be telling me I'm fat shaming people. To me, he look high risk. I'm sorry. Higher risk. Not high. Higher. Because this is this man, <laughs> this man is only like 47. <laughs> this man here is only 47. So women are outliving men, right? <laughs> I feel so bad now I didn't say this in this video. I'm sorry. I'm just speaking my point of view. You want my point of view? He don't look... <laughs> He don't look like he's in the upper percentile of people who are the shining example of health and fitness. So say whatever you want. <laughs> you, all listen, you, you all make me feel so bad because if I, oh goodness, you see, you all laugh if I say this about a man, but if I say this about a woman, then all of a sudden you're saying I hate black women. I'm just saying what it is that I see with the folds on his neck from what it is that I've seen of him, or am I, am I getting him confused with Roland Martin? I don't know, I don't know, but let me get back to the, to the, <laughs> to the video. Why are you gonna die alone because there ain't enough marriageable black men? Don't do this to yourself. If you want a partner, go get yourself a partner. Go, if that's what you want, open up your options and your dating pool. Listen, you're gonna have to vet any man no matter the race, no matter the culture, go travel, go live in another country where there's more. Listen, they have a whole continent of nothing but black people. All these islands got nothing but... If, if that's what you truly want, but don't sit here talking about you dying alone because the men was too bummy. No, find somebody else. He called Lizzo a walrus? Wait, hold the... Hold the Hold the hell up. No, 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 no. Let me go look up a picture of this man. Because you all, hold on. Let me look up a picture of him and how his body is looking. Hold on. Because I'm telling you, that man is only like 47. I saw during the pandemic how young he was. And I was like, wait a damn minute. No. Let me look up Boyce Watkins' body. Let me see what this man's body is looking like. So... Boyce Watkins tried to body shame Lizzo and got owned. Lizzo fires back. Let's see what his body looks like. Okay, well, he does look like he works out. He looks like he works out now. Okay. Maybe some, some things didn't change for him during the pandemic. Who knows? I mean, he looks like he works out. He does. He looks like he works out. However, he don't look like he drink water. I just take... 
he don't look like he drink water to me. But you know, you never know. I don't know what the man is drinking. To me, he look like he don't drink water. So I don't know. I don't know personally. But he tried to body shame her. Okay, so see, he looks like he's doing a little something in the gym. Let's, you can see his biceps. Here, I'll put it up on the screen for you big. You see his biceps. I see some bicepicals looking over here. But he does not look like, like something going on with the discoloration on his face. To me, looks like he doesn't drink water. But nonetheless, the whole point of the matter is, ladies, don't be out here dying alone because you better call Tyrone. No, 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 seriously, no, seriously. Find love where love finds you. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.